What's going on and welcome to a team selection video for game week 31. Before we have a look at how the team is shaping up for game week 31, the transfers that I'm thinking about making as well, let's have a quick look back at how the team went in game week 30. After playing multiple chips through game weeks 26 to 29, I have to be happy with my overall rank at the moment, considering game week 16, I was ranked at 1.1 million. So in just over 10 game weeks, to go from 1.1 million to 116K, I am quite pleased with that, just outside the top 100K by about eight points or so. It would have been nice following the use of the triple captain, the bench boost, and my wild card. It would have been nice to sit inside the top 100K, but I feel happy with where the team is at at this stage of the season and hopefully looking to finish inside the top 50K. But with no chips left, it is going to be hard when most people inside the top 100K have either one free hit left or even have their wildcard bench boost or some managers have even more chips than that. So it's going to be hard to hold on. But after six or seven green arrows in a row, I feel like we've got some momentum. Things are looking good and hopefully we can keep making those rises and get inside the top 50K. Haven't been inside the top 100K all season, which is shows you how bad the season has been, but hoping to get there after game week 31. I had quite a few no-shows in game week 30, but still managed to get 62 points, which was a decent green arrow. You can see my overall points there in the top right-hand corner of the screen. I only had eight or nine players play for me in the end. Kilman didn't get off the bench, but in the end, it was kind of good that Wolves lost the clean sheet because a lot of managers, particularly those on the free hit, had Saar, Cody, they might have even had uh, Johnny, perhaps as well, if they went on a free hit. The real heroes for me, Saka, Son, and Kane, and it was a great game week to have both Son and Kane. Harvey Barnes was my one transfer in. He got the assist. I did make the move to sell Rafinha and to bring in Harvey Barnes. There were some COVID rumors around Rafinha, and I knew that this was a transfer I wanted to make with Leicester's double game weeks to come. I was going to make this transfer anyway, so why not bring it forward one extra game week? So 62 points, have to be happy with that. Let's have a look at how the team is shaping up for game week 31. I've got Ramsdale in goals. He's currently flagged but I'm confident he will be playing. I've got Foster on the bench, and it is Liverpool away, but I'm hoping if I have to rely on Foster, I can get some save points from him. Tempted by Nick Pope as a goalkeeper replacement, but I don't have enough money in the bank to go straight from Ramsdale to Pope. In defense, we've got Cody, Trent, and Doherty. Trent is flagged. It looks as though Trent will miss that game against Watford in 31 he might not be ready until game week 32 when Liverpool play City. A lot of people are considering selling Trent this game week. I sold Trent earlier in the season and I found it so difficult to try and get him back without using a wild card. So for that reason, I know that I will want Trent come game week 32, game week 33. And it's a transfer that I want to make anyway. So I'm not going to sell him even if he does miss out game week 31 against Watford. I'll just keep him on the bench because I know that I'll have to try and find funds. And without a wild card, he's very expensive to try and force back into your team. Cody playing Villa at home, I don't think is the worst fixture for Wolves. And then Doherty there playing against Newcastle at home. Could be a chance of a clean sheet. Newcastle have attacked well, but I like that fixture for Spurs. Moving into midfield, we've got Saka, Barnes, Son, Gordon with the double game week and captain Salah at the moment. He played in Egypt's World Cup qualifier, so he looks to be fine, ready to go for Liverpool at home to Watford. We've got Harvey Barnes playing away to Manchester United. I was thinking about perhaps playing Broya instead, but I think Barnes might be able to get something and United's defense hasn't looked too good this season. I've got Son playing there in midfield. He is a lot of money, and I am thinking about transferring Son out, but we will come to my transfers in just a little bit. Saka playing away to Crystal Palace, I think, is a decent fixture. And then up front, we've got Kane and Lacazette. So the team looks quite good. And my intentions with regards to transfers was always to roll the transfer. You can see my transfer plans on screen. I was hoping to roll the transfer this game week and then go into game week 32 with two free transfers 
And I am thinking about making a move from Son to Bruno Fernandes for captaincy in game week 33. I don't have any free hits left. I don't have any chips. But having Son as a placeholder already, it's not going to be too difficult to find a little bit of extra cash to go from Son to Bruno. So I was hoping to bank a transfer this game week and then go Son to Bruno in game week 32, ready for Bruno's double game week in 33 as my captaincy. And I could have used my second free transfer to free up some funds. But looking at the state of play, if Trent is out injured, it means that I'll have to play either Kilman or Dan Byrne. I don't know whether Kilman is going to play for Wolves, and Dan Byrne playing away to Tottenham is not the greatest fixture from a defensive point of view. So I might be forced into a transfer, and with 0.0 in the bank, I don't have the funds to get in a Cancelo or a Rhys James or a Robertson, and they are the three defenders I really want. So what I'm thinking I will do, if Trent is confirmed out, I might just go Kilman to Connor Roberts from Burnley. Burnley have five fixtures in the next three game weeks, and there's a chance, my phone's going off, there's a chance that they even have a double game week in 34 as well. So Burnley could have three double game weeks in the next few game weeks. So whilst Burnley aren't great from a defensive point of view, and they do have Man City, As part of their double game week, they've also got Everton, which is a decent fixture. And then they've got Norwich the week after before another double game week against West Ham and Southampton. So I actually don't think Roberts is that bad of an option. So I could go straight from Kilman to Roberts. Gives me a 0.2, 0.3 saving. The third option for my transfer is to take a hit and go Lacazette to Veghorst. Now, I don't really want to lose Lacazette because Arsenal double in 33, but he is fairly expensive. And there are other Arsenal options I could get in my team if I wanted for the double. I could go for a Martinelli, who's a lot cheaper in midfield, Odegaard as well, or even go for someone like a Kirantini or a Ben White. So I could lose Lacazette, drop down to Veghorst, and the savings from that would give me enough money to go from Kilman to Reese James. I would love to go Kilman to Cancelo, but I just don't have the funds to make that move. So I'm thinking about potentially taking a hit and going Lacazette to Veghorst for the double game week and then Kilman to Reese James. But I am a little concerned about Reese James and whether he will start in game week 31 against Brentford. We'll have to wait for the press conferences to see who's fit and who's not for game week 31 because the press conferences will have a big impact on the transfers that I make. So that's the team selection video for game week 31. Those are the transfer plans I'm thinking of. Let me know what you think of those transfer plans in the comments. Should I roll? Should I be looking to go Kilman to Roberts or option three, Lacazette, Veghorst, Kilman to James, or maybe there's something else that I'm not seeing here. Also, let me know your transfer plans in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.